Thank you, Allison. And on behalf of the Health Partners Board of Directors and the entire Health Partners team, it is really an honor tonight to introduce Don Lewis for what is a very well-deserved recognition and honor as outstanding director. I've known Don for, for um, quite a while. He actually was elected to our Health Partners Board of Directors about five years ago, but his service to our organization began uh, much longer than that. He actually served on the, health, on the Park Nicollet Board of Directors in the years leading up to the combination between Health Partners and Park Nicollet. And we're grateful for Don's leadership and governance expertise as we brought two boards together into a single board to lead our organization. In addition, Don has had a keen interest and focus on healthcare quality and safety, very, very important. And I'm pleased to share that under his board leadership, our organization has achieved top results in quality both as a delivery system and as a health plan. Another area that Don has had focus on in the boardroom has been health equity, diversity, and inclusion. And as you may know, Health Partners is a member-governed, consumer-governed organization, meaning our members, our health plan members, and patients elect our board of directors. So for us, it's a top priority to have a boardroom that reflects the diversity of the people that we serve. And in recruiting board members, Don has brought a strong focus on diversity and inclusion. And I'm proud to say today that about one quarter of our board members are people of color, and about half of our board members are women. I've also appreciated the focus that Don has brought to diversity and inclusion in the boardroom. He's pushed us to think more deeply about diversity and inclusion. Our board meeting discussions have included topics like how to improve preventive screening rates for patients of color, how to address, pa how to address bias, both patient and member bias, as well as team member bias. How to improve access to care for all the people that we serve. So really a terrific area of focus and one that I'm proud of the progress we're making as an organization. On a final note, I'd just like to say a few words about Don as a colleague and a friend. He's a man of great integrity. He is thoughtful. He listens with curiosity. And he has patience and passion about serving our community. So please join me in welcoming Don and thanking him for his service to our organization. Good evening, everyone. Uh, Andrea, thank you. You're, you're much, much too generous in, in your praise. And uh, what a marvelous prize. And, and, and uh, I'm very proud to be among the uh, honorees today. Um, and thanks to Twin Cities Business for these flattering photos. Uh, <laughs> I hope I can take one of them home with me. The, this, um, this year I finished my uh, board service for Health Partners. It, Health Partners is a, is a big enterprise. It, it uh, is a $6.6 .6 billion business in terms of revenue. It has 26,000 employees operates close to 100 clinics and hospital, uh, hospitals that treat more than 1.2 million, million patients. Um, it's a very high-performing enterprise in an ever-changing and volatile uh, healthcare industry. And most importantly, it's a highly regarded national model, in fact, for the uh, delivery and financing of um, healthcare. And it's an awesome privilege to uh, be included among the stewards of uh, such an organization. Uh, it's an honor that really belongs to the team that I work with, to the board of directors, several of whom are, are here today. Um, they certainly have helped me look good. We have a very talented and engaged board, and yes, a very uh, increasingly diverse one. Um, you know, it's, I'm 
flattered to, to, to think that I might have had some, some impact on the organization, but, but I can assure you that it's the, my board service at Health Partners that has really transformed me. And I just wanted to take a minute to talk about how it has impacted my life and the lessons learned. I, I have learned the traits of um, great and exceptional leadership, working alongside Andrea. Um, Mary Brainerd is here sitting at the uh, Bremer table. She's at the wrong table, I think. Um, uh, working alongside uh, David uh, Abelson during, the, the, during my years at Park Nicollet. Uh, I have learned the power of uh, vision, both in terms of how it inspires and disciplines an organization. And at Health Partners and elsewhere, uh, it, it's the triple aim that's the guiding star uh, for our organization, the, the goal of improving patient experience affordability and, and population health. I have uh, learned the force of an organization's culture and at Health Partners it's head and heart together. Uh, the, the uplifting combination of the science of, of, of medicine uh, with humanity and compassion. And I have um, relearned the reality of community interdependence, how, how it indeed Takes, takes a village. Um, my wife and I were driving here and drove along Franklin Avenue past Hiawatha. And um, you view the, the, the homeless camp there and you're struck by um, the painful recognition of the forces um, our organization did not create and can't control that dominate health outcomes. Uh, at Health Partners, we talk in terms of the social determinants of health care and that we have an obligation to confront and alter those forces hand in hand uh, with our industry and community partners. Those are uh, lessons that reach beyond health care into other professional settings, uh, even the, the, the labor of uh, lawyers, of which I am one and they can inspire for, for a lifetime. So I'm very grateful to have learned them uh, with my friends and colleagues at Health Partners. Finally, I wanna thank those who have in, indulged me, I guess, during this journey. Uh, they include my colleagues at Nyland Johnson Lewis. Thanks for letting me do this on the law firm's uh, uh, time. And of course, thanks and for, first and foremost, to my uh, spouse and first friend, Diane Bradley Lewis, from whom I uh, must now seek advanced consent for any future board service. <laughs> uh, I really, really appreciate this honor and this occasion. Thank you uh, all. <laughs>